was going to be tackled way back at the 23 yard line, Michael Lopez. Joe Tosia. Joe Tosia gets Lopez back at the 23 yard line, and now things are falling a little bit better for the Gordon Longhorn. Bad draft and defensive play by Joe Tosia. got pen penetration, came back, but he reached back as he passed by and grabbed the back of his hand and pulled it right down. Goes back to Lopez. He's in trouble. He dumps it off to number seven. He's at the 25. Breaks out of one tackle. He's going to be tackled behind by the Longhorn up at about the 35 yard line. That's Matt Packer again with the ball. The wind girl gets some of that yardage back on the screen play, but they'll get nearly enough for a first down. It's going to bring up third and about 27. That was actually second and about 40, I believe. Second and uh, 35 to 40, somewhere in there. And he gets back to just inside the 35-yard line. So now we're going to have third, and let's call it 27. They're saying 27 on the scoreboard. So we're right. Third and 27, and into the spread formation go the Panthers. There's Lopez. He takes a toss left. Now looking for somewhere to go. There's the coverage. Tom Arena misses him. He throws back across the field. It falls incomplete, and we've got a flag back at the 28-yard line. This one may go against the Longhorns. Although I don't know what it would be unless there was some type of roughing of the quarterback. Usually that's a whole territory. And I tell you what, the way the Whithill Panthers are looking, it's going to be against Whithill. It is against Whithill. It's some type of illegal use of hands. The penalty is declined. So that is definitely going to bring up a punting situation for the Panthers. And now Gordon, who saw a touchdown, a 51-yard run by Cirillo, taken away from the Panthers. And so... Longhorns, who've been brought back to life by then, now find themselves in a pretty good position with two and a half minutes to go in the half. As you would expect, the Panthers to kick the ball away, and they've got fourth and still 27 to go, the ball in their own 34-yard line. There's the snap, and here's the kick. It's going to be a pretty good punt. It's going to bounce at the 10-yard line. Let's see if it goes into the end zone. It does. Oh! Early. It does go into the end zone. Almost an incredible acrobatic act by, by the Panthers. As the ball hit at the five-yard line, went up in the air. One of the Panthers went into the end zone, jumped up in the air, knocked it back into the playing field, and it looked like it may have been down at the one-inch line. But fortunately for Gordon, they're going to bring it back out to the 20. Garcia. Looking for somewhere to throw the football, dumps it off the side for He has it at 25 and not much room, but makes something happen to the 33. And they're going to mark him out of bounds. That will stop the clock with two minutes, nine seconds to go, as he's going to be close to a first down. Should bring up a third and perhaps about three yards, maybe even two. Third, and let's call it two for the Gordon Longhorns. They have to keep this drive going. They look to really move themselves and position themselves back into this ball game. 28 to 16, our score of Win Harrell out on top. Costilla hands off to Big John Levin. He pulls his way up to the 35 yard line, but the ball comes out. It's fumbled, and Win Harrell has come up with the football. Oh, no. Turnovers is what makes the difference in high school football. Oh, that is a huge break for the Panthers as they get it first and 15 with two minutes to go, and they're at the Gordon 32-yard line. And tackled back at the 40-yard line. No, he's not down. And tackled now at the 31-yard uh, line. Boy, how's that for some calling some action right there? That happened so quickly. That was number 12, Brandon Rogers, who had the football. He was running around trying to find somewhere to throw it. It looked like Tom Marina tackled him. He had him on those ankles, but he didn't go down, and eventually he dumped the ball off to one of the Panther receivers who was tackled at the Gordon 32-yard line. All of that, and they lose the yard. Jason Cook on the catch there, and he got right out back to the line of scrimmage, and then was knocked back. Now from the spread formation, the ball goes back to Lopez. He's looking downfield, has the receiver at the 22-yard line. Now cutting back across the field is number 21, Seth Dockery. He has a good yardage down to the 10-yard line. He's eventually tackled by Costilla. But he's going to have more than enough for a first down. It's going to be first and goal for the Panthers with a minute 13 to go in this first half. Well, I tell you what, with Harrell, when they get down in the red zone, they... It's been pretty much perfect tonight so far, and that's what we've been talking about all night. And that red zone has made the difference 
Field position for Wood Harrell, especially on that onside kick back in the first quarter. Spread formation, ball goes back to Lopez. He's looking to throw the ball, now in trouble, dumps it off, and it's dropped. Dropped there again by Brandon Rogers. Lopez letting just a bit too much. He might have had some pretty decent yardage on the right side. Fortunately for Gordon, he can't come up with it. I tell you what, Gordon should be very happy if they get out of the first half just at 48-16 with 60 seconds to go in the ball game. Now a timeout call, 59 seconds. If they can stop Wood Harrell right here, that'll be a major victory for the first half. Huge contingent from Longhorn Country. Made the trip out to Sweetwater, Texas. And are a bit disappointed right now. Here we go, second and goal to go from the 11-yard line. Ball goes back to Lopez. He hands it off around the left side to Cirillo. He's got a block. He's at the five, runs over one of the long boards at the five-yard line, and is down to the two. That's Jeremy Jackson who saved the touchdown. And we have a timeout. Looks like uh, Chamberlain has re-injured his right leg. It may be the knee or the ankle, but he's certainly going to come out of the ball game. And he's been limping ever since the first quarter when he somehow injured, again, that right leg, a knee or an ankle. Looks like it might be the knee more than anything else. Yeah. Big play here. Third and goal to go from the four-yard line. Lopez pitches it back to Rogers. He's around the right side and into the end zone. It's Brandon Rogers from four yards out as he just makes it in in the corner. All kinds of movement all over the place. It looks like it's going to be offside against Gordon. He misses it to the left, so if it is offside against the Longhorns, he'll get to try it again. You see him come back after a deficit to Trinidad where they played a heck of a second half. And let's see if that magic works again here this afternoon. There's the snap. The kick is up. He may have missed it again. No, they're going to call this one good. He just stuck it in on the left side of the upright. This one's in Sweetwater, Texas, where Gordon really needs to do something in these 44 seconds. As there's the kickoff. This one will go deep. And let's see if Sizemore takes it. He does the seven-yard line. He's up the middle of the field looking for a hole, and he doesn't find much of one. Is down to the 21-yard line. And perhaps that's as good a reason as any for the Panthers not to kick the ball deep to keep it out of the hands of Jason Sizemore. Yeah, anytime Sizemore touches the ball, he's going to make something happen. And now is the time for him to make something happen. Gordon would love to get out of this first half with some more points on the board. We said earlier it would have been a great victory to keep Woodhill out of the end zone. Just couldn't do it. Anytime they've got it in the red zone, they've done it so far this afternoon. Expect the spread formation. Indeed, that's what we see from Costilla and company. He has Sizemore and Tahirina back there. There's a handoff to Sizemore. Now he's going to throw the ball. Has a receiver at the 22-yard line, but overthrows him. That was number nine, Joe Costilla, who is going on a fly pattern down the sideline. But Sizemore overthrew him. Ball went to Costilla. Costilla got it to Tahirina. Then coming around from the far side was Sizemore, who took the handoff from Tahirina. Then threw it deep downfield. A little bit of razzle-dazzle there wasn't enough to confuse the Panthers. And it's to the spread formation for Costilla. He gets the snap back to Sizemore. Sizemore looking for somewhere to run or throw the ball. Now throws it back across to Levin, who's in big trouble at the 25-yard line. That just is not worked as successfully as we've seen the Longhorns handle that play all season long. And it has not worked here today as Wood Hero obviously did their homework. Tajarita, Sizemore, and Cosia in the backfield. Pitch back to Sizemore. Tajarita in the block. Now, Sizemore looking for someone. He's going to have to run with it, and he's in trouble. He will get up to the 35-yard line, but time expires. Last few seconds kick away for the Gordon Longhorn. Here's one thing I know we'll agree on, Brandon, and that is on this first third-quarter possession, Gordon almost has to go in and score. Yep. They just almost have to go in and score and get the momentum shifted back in their direction. We've seen that happen this season when the other team would perhaps uh, begin a momentum shift and Gordon come back so quickly and answer that. And they're really going to have to do it here. This is the biggest gut check they have had all season long. All the dreams, all the hype, all the talk, the Sports Illustrated article, all the coverage from the networks, it all comes down to the next 20 minutes of football for the Gordon Longhorns, and so Sizemore is standing at about his 10. Chris Chamberlain is coming back out of the locker room now by himself. He is limping. It's just a conjecture at this point as to whether he will return or not. Here's a deep kickoff this time from the Whit Harrell Panthers, and this one goes out of the end zone. That is a booming kickoff there. Kind of turning the page when he gets in the second half. He tried to make an improvement.